but your passing, it seems like uh, you are really you're passing even more than you were before. Not that it's unusual, but tonight you led him in eight, with eight assists, done it a few times this season. How much do you, enjoyment do you get out of passing the ball? I like passing. Uh, I've, been, I've been averaging like five assists since for about six years now. Higher this year. Yeah, but still, it's just a natural progression, you know what I mean? And, um, I look at myself as an all-around player that can do anything um, on the court. So uh, I'm not surprised. Kevin, how did they get back into this one, and then what were the keys in holding on? Well, they made tough shots at the end. I don't want to get discouraged because of the last three minutes. Um, but HB shot a fall away out of bounds. That was a tough shot. Wesley Matthews hit a few threes. Um, we turned the ball over in open court, and Jalen Brunson, <clears throat> Jalen Brunson hit a, a tough one in the corner. So they they they're down 18, 17 points with four minutes to go. You just you know see if you can get back to the game, and they really did by making shots. But I thought the whole the whole basketball game we played uh, played pretty solid. More attempts than them. I rebounded. Um, yeah, 34 assists, 13 turnovers. I mean, five by myself. But as a team, like I thought we played great. Kevin, what is it about Jonas's personality that fits you guys so well? Uh, he just doesn't say much and and just goes to work. Um, he's very he's encouraging. He uh, talks uh, pretty loud on defense and he's not afraid to shoot. Kind of following up on Jonas, I mean he, he was kind of important as far as you know getting over the hump in that third quarter when he got you guys to lead there. But what do you make of his night? And obviously he set a career high with twenty three points. That's career high. Yeah. Well, congrats to Jonas on that. Um, I thought he did a, a great job of um, <clears throat> crashing the glass and, you know, not just his three-point shot, but um, crashing the glass and doing the dirty work for us and, you know, rebounding at a high level. And he was great. He was great for us. We're going to need that for the rest of the season. There was a few stretches in the game where you guys were getting good looks, but they weren't dropping. How do you stay encouraged when you know you're getting looks, but they're not falling for you? Huh? I mean, when you, you got guys that have been shooting for their whole lives and you get a wide open shot and you miss, you can be encouraged about the next one. I think, um, you know, you hang your head a bit when you shoot tough ones and you miss and, you know, 0 for 4, 0 for 5 shooting on tough ones. But if it's you 0 for 3, you know, 1 for 5 shooting with wide open looks, you got to live with that. And I think our shooters, uh, all of us, you know, we just stayed with it and we was able to knock some down in a third. Kevin, uh, Steve said that Draymond still, you know, finding his, his legs and getting in shape af after the injury. And do you think it's just a matter of time before he gets in a nice groove offensively and, and really uh, gets back to where, he, where he's been? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, he is. I mean, yeah, 14, 10, and 5. Right. I mean, you want him to score 30? No, I'm just saying Steve, Steve said he's, he's, he's beginning to get his legs back, oh, and yeah. it's, it's oh. only going to build from, from there. Oh, I'm yeah. not picking on him. Uh, no. I'm about to say now. I'm going to have to come over this table now. But no, like you said, that is right. I think, um, you know, tonight was a step um, in the right direction for Dre as far as just like being aggressive, you know, before, you know, he'll get it out at the three point line and he's looking for a pass, which is what we want him to do. But, you know, after if you get five of those possessions in the first half, you know, we want him to shoot a couple of those. And I think tonight, start the game he knocked him down which got his got him going barking at the other bench and now you know defensively he was just swarming you know at, on every action guarding the center just playing tough and he was pushing the basketball so you know I think that started from him knocking down jump shots which is the most important thing in the game is scoring so Draymond was able to uh, get the rest of his game going by knocking down some shots. I was going to ask you about that you enjoy how every time he hits a three this year he seems to be telling the opposing bench come on get out yeah, he's just reacting to what they're saying. Is let him shoot. Don't come out and close out on him. Like, just talking trash from the bench, too. So, you know, Jaymon is one of those guys that if you start, you get him going, um, talking, then he going he gonna to let you hear about it all night, especially if he's knocking down shots. Is that it? Great. Thank you. We'll have probably...